EC and Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Robert Clayton. The Australian dollar starts this week into a negative outlook with the signal still remaining here, which you can see from the stochastic, is bearish with no little momentum to, to suggest any upward bias. Also, we have a, a reversal day that was printed four days ago, plus the 7710 break looks now for a target this week of 75.85 with the intraday range holding of 76.80 to 77.50 reassessed down towards that um, 75.85 level and just in case that we might see a mild bounce from there but nevertheless clearly we can see here that the market is breaking down so on a broader term so I do expect to see that objective eventually reached. Euro, since the rejection of the 113.80 level, still holds to a negative pattern. You can see here the stochastic is in a negative uh, sentiment. Also, with little momentum, suggests the downward bias now looks towards a 110.5 objective. Although we did see a break of one. 12.20 last week on Friday, the mild challenge that we're seeing to the upside now should soon eventually wane and look, as I say, towards that downside target. On the day, I expect to see a 112.20 to a 113.20 resistance, but as I say, the, the broader outlook is quite negative and I still feel that we will reach that target of 110.50. Well, dollar yen stages yet again another round of demand. My objective of last week was 110.60. That's been achieved and exceeded to a two week high of 111.80. On the day, I do expect to see a mild pullback with a range seen of 110.40 to 111.60. The risk is though that we could see further demand from this pattern and a break of 111.60 would project a target of 112.20.25 and higher up towards 113.80 and reassess from there. What would negate this view is if we see a break of 110.40 this would open way back towards 109, 20, 30 and reassess. But I feel that any pullback will be shallow and expect further demand this week. Sterling yet again stages an impressive rally and hits a 10 week high uh, last night, which was uh, one around 145, 20. Intraday is weak and I do expect to see a pullback to 144.25. I'm not overly confident on the fact that the break of 144.80 was a bull break. It looks to me more like a stop. The market may have got short and it looks like a stop loss um, rally to me. And the market's now setting up for a further sell off. What will determine now is a break of 144.25. This would reinstate the move down towards 142.80. However, Failing a break of 144.25 could see a move up towards 145.20, but at this stage I'm not fully convinced that this break of last night was the best of bulls, bullish moves. So I'm sitting for a view back to 144.25 and see and reassess from there. And to wrap up on gold, gold did get down towards uh, the objective of 112.22.24 last week, or towards the end of last week, and bounced and respects the level of 112.42. So still stuck in a range at this stage. The intradays are a little bit mixed, but the broader picture, if we look, is actually a little bit on the downside since that rejection of 1,268. I believe by the midweek, we could see the level back down to rechange support at 1,222.24 and see a bounce from there. If we don't get a bounce from there, then that would open way back towards 1,190.
but as I say, I expect a bounce from 1222 and look up towards uh, the resistance of 1248 and reassess from there. So to wrap it up, I expect to see weakness again in Aussie, in Euro, mild pullback in dollar yen before the rally. Sterling, I'm not overly convinced on the break to the upside, so we need to watch that carefully in the next 12 hours. And gold, I'd look for a pullback to 1222. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.